Hello and welcome back to Corporate Round Trifle Brochure um, Template Help File. This is Chapter 4, Editing the File in Adobe InDesign. Now before we start with the file editing, um, I just want to point out that uh, you have two types of InDesign file in this package. Uh, InDesign in, uh, file which is uh, for CS 5.5 version and above. And if you have a CS4 version, uh, you have the IDML file. The only difference is once you open the IDML file, uh, you will need to save it as an uh, InDesign file in order to save all the changes. Now, um, let's open the file first. Okay, we're going to go open. Uh, let me just... Uh, this is it. INDD. We're going to choose... Let's choose the green one, okay? Uh, again, it will ask you as well uh, as you, if you saw the chapter one uh, in uh, Adobe Illustrator, whether or not you want to update the links, click on and you'll get all the links <clears throat> updated. So before we start, let's make sure we have all the panels that we need to open up. What you need are pages, links and layers panel. Uh, so let's go to those three first. All of them you can find in window. And when it comes to pages, you can uh, make sure it's checked out and or you can uh, open it up by uh, shortcut F12. Uh, window layers will open up the layers panel or the keyboard shortcut F7. And finally, the links uh, panel, um, window links or keyboard shortcut uh, shift control D. Uh, the next thing we need to open up are the swatches panel. Uh, you can find the swatches panel in window, color, and then swatches. Uh, we don't need the effects panel because we don't have any transparencies in this template. But if you want to create some, uh, you can go to uh, window effects or you can just simply click uh, uh, go to key keyboard shortcut uh, shift control F10. And finally, when it comes to character panel, uh, we go to window, uh, type and tables, and character. Okay, so once we have all the necessary <clears throat> files open up, uh, the first thing you need to do is that I have separated uh, the graphic design from the text. Um, graphics are on the master pages and text are on the regular pages uh, in the design. Now first, let's go to the Layers panel and turn off Marks and Info, as well as the Illustrator file. Uh, this uh, layer has been set up uh, not to print, so uh, when you export it and printing, it will not show up. Again, it has all the technical information you need to know about printing the file. And you have the layers of different pages in here too. Now let's go with uh, color editing. Color editing is super simple uh, in InDesign. Uh, we can do it in two different ways. Um, all the colors in InDesign are global colors. So uh, if you want to change the color scheme, all you need to do is uh, double click on a color you want to change. And again, let's change it to Let's change it to the blue, okay, we have this and as you can see uh, all uh, the text and the graphics have been automatically updated. Now if you want to create um, your own uh, color design in this template, um, I recommend the easiest way is to double click on the fill layer select your own color. Let's create, for instance, magenta. Add, add CMYK swatch. And once you add it, all you have to do is click the graphic items you need, you want to change, and that will be it. Now, again, uh, since they work as all the colors work in global colors, uh, if you wish to change it later on, we can do that by double clicking on the swatches panel and then let's change it like this. Uh, 
Okay, so that will be uh, all when it comes to color editing. Now, when it comes to uh, images, again, there are two different ways of uh, editing the images in a template. Uh, one simple, uh, first, I'm sorry, we gotta go to the master pages in order to edit the links. So, uh, let me select this one. Uh, the way to edit uh, and change uh, the image in your file is go to Control D, that is the shortcut, or go to File Place. And once we find it, we find the uh, image we want to change it with. And uh, there are different ways of editing the image setting, and you can manually change the position, size, and uh, all the rest. Or you can uh, click on the image and go here to uh, automatically fit and resize the image based on the size and image contained. Uh, so that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it, excuse me, just delete this one. The other way of doing it is uh, through uh, the dummy images folder. Now you can uh, see that in chapter one, editing Adobe Illustrator, I'm just gonna uh, go throughout the basics to sort of save some time. Uh, basically what you do, open this image in Adobe Photoshop, place your own image instead of it, size it, change it, scale it, and once you do, it will automatically be updated uh, here. You'll get a small uh, triangle. Um, let me just do this fast. Let me just do this. I'm gonna change just the name and overwrite this one. Okay, so you see, it has been uh, this little uh, triangle shows you that the link or the image has been changed. So all you have to do is double click on it and it will automatically update uh, with the current image you have. Uh, once we have done uh, everything we need to do in, when it comes to graphics, um, now let's turn to uh, text editing. Text editing, again, quite simple. You either, you select the text you wish to edit. Let me zoom in a little bit. You can either double click on it and change it, or you can first select uh, the type tool and then select the text you wanna change it with. Type your own text. And once you do, you can change through the characters panel, you can change the font. You can change the style. Let me put it something we can see. Uh, here you change the size. Um, uh, you can change the spacing between uh, the uh, the spacing between the letters. And if you double click on the text and select it, you can change whether it's all caps, small caps, etc. You know. So that's one way of changing all the text. Again, um, uh, all the text here is in paragraphs, so all you need to do is copy and paste your own text and then modify it based on um, how much space you need, um, etc. So that's it when it comes to editing this template. Uh, it's quite easy, quite simple. You can do basic editings in less than half an hour, including adding your own text and uh, getting this template ready for print. Uh, the last thing uh, we have to do is save this edited version. So again, I'm going to save the edit version. So I know this is the file that I can still work with. And I'm going to... Um, now save the version for print. Now, uh, if you're sending this to PDF file, there is a, a, a process on how to do that, how to make sure that all the text is converted to curves. Um, I'm just gonna show you quite simple how to do it. Um, go to the master page, uh, select the shape tool and just make a rough selection around it. Now, um, we need to make sure that this layer is gonna be the bottom last layer. We're gonna change it to trans 
transparency. Okay. I'm just going to put, <clears throat> don't worry about the size, position, and so on. Uh, we're going to go right click, effects, transparency, and we're just going to uh, lower the opacity to zero. Okay, lock it up. And we're going to do that same thing to um, the other um, master page. Now I'm just going to leave it on uh, the one master page so you can see the difference. Okay, so once we did that and we went back to our page, now we're going to export it for print. And the way we did it, and you're going to see the difference between the two uh, pages. Uh, we go to export. Uh, I'm just going to save it uh, as PDF print. Yes. Now I have, let's say it's a high quality print. The one thing I need is PDFX. I use this one because this is the older one and most probably all the printer services have it. I make sure to change the compression of um, color images to none because I want them in high resolution. I don't want to have uh, JPEG artifacts. Um, make sure use bleed document settings is checked. Output is gonna be convert to destination. And finally, when it comes to advance, uh, I need uh, transparency present uh, transparency flattener to be print uh, preset. Now I'm going to show you how to create those transparency flatteners, but for now, all you need to know um, create your own preset. There, we're going to then click export. Okay, and once it's exported, we just refresh. Here we go. Now, as you can see, all the text has been converted, so we don't have text on this page, but on this one, we still do, because we didn't uh, put that uh, transparency layer uh, on the master page B. So <clears throat> that's the difference. This is the way to, trans uh, to export the files in PDF for printing. Um, the one thing I owe you is to uh, create um, transparency flatteners. We go to edit transparency flattener presets, um, <clears throat> choose the high resolution, <clears throat> I'm sorry, click new and then uh, name it whatever. Uh, I have print pre preset, let's call it smart print. Now, there are several things I need to have this. I want to have 100% vectors, line height and text resolution is at uh, 1200 ppi, gradient and mesh resolution 300 ppi. I want to convert all text to outlines and I want to convert all strokes to outlines. And click OK and once you do that, um, you have your flattener uh, preset uh, ready. Now, a different way of sending this to your printer would be uh, to create a package. Uh, one Before you do that, um, you need to do a couple of checks first. Uh, first, let's select all the text in the file, okay? You need to select it all. And once we do, we're gonna, let me see if CS5 gives uh, nope. Now right click, we're gonna go to type, create outlines, okay? So basically we create outlines out of text so there would be no mistakes. Um, I do this because there is a way to send, when you package, um, <clears throat> when you package your files to send to printer, it will also uh, package fonts, but if those fonts are commercial type fonts, it will not package them. So you have to have a special license type in order to be able to package these fonts. This is the easiest way uh, out. Again, your printer doesn't need to then um, install the fonts and everything else. Now what you do is, let's save this file as print. Okay. And we're gonna go to file, package, okay? If there is like, uh, because I didn't do that on the second page, you see I have three fonts used. It says which fonts uh, are used. It tells me whether or not they're protected. In this case, they're not. I'm gonna links and images, everything is fine. Everything is linked. Um, color and print settings, you can check out the sum summary here. I'm gonna choose package here. You can 
put your own instructions, contact company address, all the necessary things. Continue and it will open up a place where you can let me let me save it here. The name of the file and with the addition of folder. I'm gonna check copy fonts, I'm gonna check copy link graphics, and I'm gonna check the update graphic links in package. Press package and it will do it for me. Okay. And let me find it. Here it is. You have the InDesign file, you have the instructions, all the links. Uh, and as you can see, it didn't package the fonts because I guess it was incomplete. And this is why I just make sure all of the fonts are converted to the outlines. Okay, that was it. This was the end of chapter 4, editing the file in Adobe InDesign. All we have uh, left to do is um, see how to edit this template in Adobe Photoshop. And I'll see you uh, in chapter 5. Bye!